For a generation of TV viewers who grew up during the 70s and 80s, The Banana Splits is undoubtedly one of the most fondly recalled children's television shows from that era. If you were a child of the 70s, you're highly likely to have happy recollections of watching this warm and wacky show, and are certain to remember the iconic theme tune. Let's take a nostalgic look back at the Banana Splits. The Banana Splits, brought to you by Kellogg's. Kellogg's puts more in your morning. More nourishment. More flavor. More fun. <laughs> Adventure Hour, starring the Arabian Nights, Danger Island, The Three Musketeers, and The Banana Split. Although originally broadcast in its native United States in 1968 under the title The Banana Split's Adventure Hour, one of the most beloved of children's shows did not air in the UK until 1970, its title then being shortened to simply The Banana Splits. The first live-action show to be produced by Hanna-Barbera, the masters of animation, The Banana Splits was a simply magical mix of slapstick comedy, songs, cartoons and men dressed in large animal costumes. Not to mention one of the greatest theme tunes in the history of television. What more could your average 70s kid want? When the BBC first broadcast the Banana Splits, it was allocated the Friday tea time slot around 5pm. The very first episode was shown in the UK on Friday the 20th of February 1970. In 1971, it was moved to Saturday lunchtime just before Grandstand and would also be broadcast in the week during school holidays. As 1980 arrived, the Banana Splits was repeated early on a Saturday morning and it's these showings of which I have the fondest memory and judging by the many tweets I've received on the subject, it seems most of you remember the Saturday showings too. Saturday mornings on the BBC really were special back then. The Banana Splits would be followed by either Champion the Wonder Horse, Zorro, or the French adventure serial The Flashing Blade. Now that is what Saturday television was all about. In its native United States, The Banana Splits ran for 31 episodes on NBC from 1968 to 1970, but continued to run in syndication until the early 80s. The first live-action series from animation studio Hanna-Barbera, it was essentially a comedy variety show, with the Banana Splits band linking various regular segments and cartoons. Just in case you can't remember who was who in the Banana Splits band, Bingo was the gorilla who played the drums, Flegel the guitar-wielding dog, Drooper was a bass-playing lion, while keyboards were taken care of by Snorky the elephant. The character voices were provided by some of Hanna-Barbera's top voiceover artists. The great Dawes Butler, whose most famous characters included Yogi Bear, Huckleberry Hound, Quickdraw McGraw and Wally Gator, voiced Bingo. Paul Winchell, perhaps most famous for voicing Tigger in Winnie the Pooh, and Dick Dastardly in Wacky Races, was the voice of Flegel. Okay, Fletcher, if you want to be a piano playing flea, you got to practice. Ready, Fletcher? Hey, Drooper, now what are you trying to teach your trained flea? Ballet? <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, but Fletcher's getting pretty good at playing the piano. Listen, hit it, Fletcher. That Fletcher's pretty good. Good? Why, well, he's just great. And if he keeps that up, I'll get him into showbiz. Hear that, Fletcher? You're going to be famous. <laughs> I've got so many great memories of the Banana Splits, perhaps more so than any other children's show from that era. The hilarious antics of the main characters and the over-the-top sound effects which accompanied each slapstick moment. That legendary theme tune which you just can't get out of your head. 
How about the memorable regular cartoons too? Arabian Nights, The Three Musketeers. Those cartoons are almost as well remembered as the Banana Split series itself and both retain a cult following today. The show also featured a live action adventure serial called Danger Island which starred a young Jan Michael Vincent. Each of the 36 episodes ran for just 10 minutes with most ending on a cliffhanger. Interestingly, the director of Danger Island was none other than Richard Donner, who would go on to direct such huge films as Superman, The Goonies and Lethal Weapon. Okay, fellas. Quiet. Order. 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 All righty, fellas. When I say dismiss, the meeting will be adjourned. <clears throat> dismiss. That's a double edge. Footage of the Banana Splits band driving mini cars called Banana Buggies and enjoying various theme park rides was used for the opening credits and also for mini musical segments within each show. These pieces of live footage were filmed at Six Flags over Texas in Arlington, Texas for the first series, a theme park which first opened in 1961 and remains operational to this day. For segments during the second series, filming a move to Coney Island in Cincinnati, Ohio. Nearly 40 years after first watching the banana splits, it remains one of my ambitions to drive a banana buggy. These most fun looking of vehicles were in reality customised Amphicats, six wheel drive amphibious all terrain vehicles. Sadly the Amphicat ceased production in 1975 so any existing models still in good running order are probably in short supply. Looks like I'll never realise my dream after all. Like many of the great shows produced by Hanna-Barbera, the Banana Splits left a lasting impression in the memories of those of us lucky enough to be around during the golden age of children's television. It was warm, wacky and fun. Most definitely TV like it used to be. You can't beat a bit of proper telly.